Hello, I'm Paul Gillespie, the CEO of the Kids Internet Safety Alliance. The program that you're about to see will allow you to understand what your children are doing on the internet. And I would like to thank the provincial government for supporting this tremendous initiative. And hi, I'm Kathleen Wynne. I'm the Ontario Minister of Education. And I'm very pleased as a member of the McGuinty government to be able to partner with Kinza as we help parents to understand how to protect their kids online. It's so important. Now, won't you please join us on this important journey? The internet has become a part of our lives, both on and off the computer. Newspaper and television news programs are using the internet as a source on real life topics. We cannot escape the fact that the internet has become a forum for reporting and commenting on our world. Millions of people are connecting with each other every day, sharing memories, pictures, music, videos, ideas, and information. All this sharing helps make the world a better, friendlier, and more accessible place. Every day our kids are getting more involved in this computer-based world. An Ipso Read survey was conducted in Canada involving children between the ages of 10 and 14, and it found that 85% of children have access to the internet outside of their home. 70% of children believe that the information they put online or send to a friend is private. 22% of boys and 37% of girls have sent their picture to someone. Today's youth have grabbed onto this computer culture. They have wired themselves with computers, cell phones, MP3 players, and video games. They are linked to each other like no other group before. 40% of 10-year-olds use instant messaging, MSN, every time they use a computer. The same survey also found that 96% of all parents had talked to their children about dangers to be aware of online. So we are talking to our kids about the internet, but are we talking smart? Bullying, extortion, sexual exploitation and assaults are all crimes that have been committed against children using the internet. Knowing some of the most common features and how they are used will help to ensure your children are surfing smart on the internet.